that's the start-up on this HQ that we've just, uh, well, we're, we're seven-eighths the way through the job. We've built a custom engine, which is a LSX um, block running a four-inch stroker, so we're running a 427. We've got some PRC cylinder heads and lots of goodies in there with cam and lifters and the forged pistons, these are actually ceramic coated forged pistons. We're running the full six bolt heads, so it's quite a capable engine we've got there. Um, then on top of it, we're running essentially a 2.9 litre, obviously the rear drive 2.9 litre Whipple, um, or the front feed, whichever way you want to call it, but essentially the reverse mounted um, Whipple, the same as on all of the new Whipple systems. Um, and we've actually um, hybrided on there the LSA drive system of, of sorts, so we have a separate drive to run the supercharger pulley up the front, which is all worked out with the combination of bits and pieces we got there. So this is your start-up point at the moment. Like I said, um, there's, some, there's bits and pieces. We've got the reservoir to go in. Over here we've got um, still to mount up properly. It's just sitting in there to give me an idea where it's going, but essentially our breather system and our radiator overflow. The other side will have the reservoir. You see down there we've got the big intercooler, um, trans cooler and radiator are all actually set up on the car. All pretty much to go in there without having to mess with the body of this nice HQ. Um, underneath, well I'll come around the back to start off with, we've got a um, fuel system in this thing, which essentially is a false backboard there, so that to give us a little space in behind the seat and then a fuel system in there. So I'll put a little bit of light on that so you can actually see, maybe a little bit better. Essentially there's fuel fuel system down up inside there, so twin 044 fuel pumps and essentially a four and a half litre swell pot. So good amount of fuel. Um, it actually runs another fuel pump underneath as a lift pump from a fuel tank. Battery's already mounted in the boot. That was a job that was already done. We've gone through and fitted up all the brakes. We go underneath the car. Um, once again, not completely finished, but we're, um, we're a bit down that road. We've had the brakes fitted, we've redone all the brake lines, we've built a custom exhaust system for it, which is sounding about right at the moment. Not quite certain where they're finished with the, with the rear tips and things, um, but uh, underneath here, you'll see we have the one-piece tailpipes that are actually going underneath the diff. This back half is just tacked together at the moment. We want the owner to have a look and see what his thoughts are. Um, essentially up to where we actually have the custom stuff up the front here onto a big set of headers. Um, this car at the moment is set up for the track, so there's no cats in there. They're, to go on the street, they'll have cats in there. It's a custom built turbo 400 um, that's built into this thing in a reverse pattern manual shift. Um, and then we've also gone through to put, obviously it's got the, the Woolworth brakes front and rear. We've gone through and done a rack conversion to it. So essentially it's got one of the black racks, um, racks in here, uh, which we've set up with all the, there's all the new um, LS3 components on the actual engine. So she has really come together as a nice finished looking component or engine and, and car. It's coming together as a, as a really nice sort of unit. But anyway, that's a, that's a basic look of where we're at at the moment. Um, it's just start up. Let's see if we've got to tighten up a hose clamp there. Um, but essentially, it's not far off going on the dyno, and we've got finishing bits and pieces. Um, I'll let it down a little bit so you can have a look at the engine. Under the bonnet here, like I said, there's reservoirs and things to go in the corners. Everything else should be tucked away. Um, little bits of interesting bits of the jobs is making up the likes of the unloader valve there with a little linkage system to be able to do that in this format. Um, this car also is going to be running essentially. We'll probably rebadge these so they're not out of rock anymore. But essentially, uh, there's engine covers to run on both sides, so you won't be seeing coils and that sort of stuff. It's really going to tuck away as a very nice and neat and tidy unit, and um, it's certainly looking the part. We've also got a few bit to do in the way of making the, um, the bonnet work. So there's going to have to be a bonnet spoiler to make it fit. We've got a couple of choices there. These are all things we're about to go through with the owner, 
and find out the finer details of where how he wants to finish things off. But anyway, that's a little look of, of start-up of this um, <coughs> Whipple supercharged 427 um, in this HQ.